BACNAV OFS Termination Procedure. Here are the tools you'll need. Step 1. Prepare cable. Unscrew and separate intermediate compression and gland nut assembly from the main body assembly. Cut cable to desired length, making sure to include contact termination length and desired service loop length. Step 2. Stage back nav OFS back shell onto cable. Stage compression nut and gland nut assembly onto cable. Slide back nav OFS back shell assembly onto cable end being terminated. Slide insert retainer and O-ring or adapter as applicable onto the cable following the back shell. Note that the adapter may be coupled to the back shell. Here is an example of a staged back nav OFS with fiber optic cable. Step 3. Prepare cable end for termination. Determine cable jacket strip length. Glenair recommends you terminate and attach a connector using a minimum strip length. Mark the cable jacket at the required distance behind the main body assembly. Remove outer cable jacket exposing the cable shield or the Kevlar strength members for fiber optic applications. For shielded electrical cable applications, remove any water block material from the cable shield. Trim the cable shield to 3 to 4 inches in length, then fold back flat over outer cable jacket and tape down. For fiber optic applications, leave the Kevlar strength members long, fold back over outer cable jacket and tape down. Step 4. Prepare conductors or fibers. Prepare the conductor or fiber and terminate contacts or fibers according to specific connector requirements. Step 5. Insert contacts or OFCs into connector. Rocking the contact during insertion will facilitate entry into the connector. To avoid damage to seal material, do not rotate contacts during insertion. Step 6. Attach main body assembly to connector. Move the back shell main body assembly with adapter, insert retainer, or o-ring if present towards the cable end to mate with the connector. Position the insert retainer and o-ring if applicable. Check for proper alignment with connector master keyway, then thread the back shell coupling nut onto the connector. Verify proper engagement of splines as coupling nut is hand tightened. Step 7A. Terminate electrical cable shield. Jacket should measure 3 eighths of an inch from the conical end of the main back shell body assembly to the cable jacket. The service loop length is contained inside the back shell. Untape the cable shield and fold forward over conical end and banding platform. Complete band termination, ensuring cable jacket remains 3 eighths of an inch from the conical end of the main back shell body. Remove tape and prepare to band shield according to cable media. Step 7B. Terminate fiber optic Kevlar strength members. End of the cable jacket should measure one half of an inch from the conical end of the main back shell body assembly with fiber optic conductors pulled taut. Untape the Kevlar strength members and fold forward over the conical end and banding platform 
ensuring even 360 degree distribution. Prepare termination band and installation tool, positioning over cable jacket. Ensure that the fibers are pulled taut. Remove all slack from Kevlar strength members as they are dressed forward over the main back shell body intermediate compression nut threads. This procedure ensures that Kevlar strength members are preloaded and adequate fiber slack is provided inside the back shell. Step 8. Trim Cable Shield. Trim the cable shield to the end of the intermediate compression nut threads. Tuck extra length of cable shield away and pocket behind banding platform under the intermediate compression nut threads. Step 9. Attach compression nut and gland assembly. Attach connector to back shell using appropriate torque values indicated in the AIR 6151 specifications. Tighten cable clamp according to AIR 6151 specifications. This completes the back nav OFS termination procedure.